Speaker after speaker in the two days of the public consultation on the Tobago Internal Self-Government Bills asked why Tobago's physical space is not defined in the documents. On day two of the meeting held yesterday, Attorney General Faris Alwari provided further clarification for its absence. He quotes from the United Nations Law of the Seas Convention. If we did Tobago waters and Trinidad waters, we would fall from our archipelagic waters are 7,000, roughly 200 square kilometers. If we went to Tobago waters, we would fall down to 3,282 square kilometers. He says the nation's fishermen would face challenges as tariffs and other aspects of fishing may be different. We are right now under the law of the Sea Convention. We are right now in our Economic Exclusive Zone Convention from an oil and gas perspective. The Republic of Trinidad and Tobago is arguing its claim against Barbados, Grenada, and Suriname and Guyana. The Chair, Minister Camille Robinson Regis, again reminded that the committee spoke with experts on the St. Kitts and Nevis government model. That delineation can occur within the bill, the planning and facilitation act itself. Robinson Regis and Alwari say the final two bills before the JSC, one to change the constitution and the other for the Tobago Island government, will indicate that all lands and parks in Tobago will be owned by Tobago. Public consultation on the draft bills ended in Tobago on Saturday, but will be held in Trinidad on Monday virtually. Contributions will continue online as the committee must report its findings and recommendations to Parliament by May 31, 2021. Camille McKechnie, CNC3 News.